A launching ceremony was held earlier this morning for a new South Korean naval destroyer in the southeastern port city of Ulsan. There, President Yoon Sang Yeol thanked those involved for their hard work and vowed to strengthen South Korea's maritime capabilities. Our presidential office correspondent Yoon Jung Min reports. Becoming a new maritime power and tapping the defense sector as a new growth engine. Those were the two key messages from President Yoon song yeol on Thursday as he delivered remarks celebrating the launch of ROKS Chongjo the Great at Hyundai Heavy Industries shipyard in Ulsan. The South Korean commander-in-chief expressed confidence in his Navy and sailors for defending the waters and a de facto maritime border between the two Koreas. He also pledged to nurture the Korean defense sector as a national strategic industry for economic growth, citing that South Korea has recaptured the number one spot in winning global shipbuilding contracts in the first half of this year. First Lady Kim Gon Yi cut the tethers of the vessel with a small axe, which has symbolic meaning of cutting an umbilical cord of a newborn baby. ROKS Chongjo the Great, named after the Joseon Dynasty monarch King Chongjo, is a national strategic asset and a core axis of the Korea Air and Missile Defense System against North Korea's missile and nuclear programs. It's South Korea's first 8,200-ton Aegis destroyer, built entirely with homegrown technology. The destroyer will be delivered to the Korean Navy in 2024 for actual use after a trial voyage period. Yoon Jong-min, Arirang News.